Hi Media Makeup fans, Bianca here. Now, it's the first day of Fashion Week. I'm getting all ready to go and I'm just going to show you my little outfit that I'm wearing so that you get an idea of why my makeup is uh, going to be applied the way that it is today. So I've already done my cleanser, toner and I've used a primer instead of a moisturizer and I've used my normal foundation, concealer and powder. I've done half of the face as you can see and now I'm just going to show you how to do the other half. So let's start with brushing our eyebrows up okay and then we are going to be using our um, slant brush with a little bit of brown on it and we start at the beginning and we just do little dots all the way through and just fill in any areas that need to be filled in. The next step is we get a nice, oh, actually I'll use a bigger brush. So this is the fluffy brush that I would usually use, but I'm actually going to use a bigger one. And I'm using a Jane Iredell, um eyeshadow kit. It's got five colors in it. And the color that I want to use today is the nude color right here. So pop that product on all over the brush and get it on all over the eyelid. Make sure you get into this corner area here. Sweep it all across. Easy as that. Put that aside. Now we'll get our fluffy brush this time and I'm using a MAC Quad and um, this is the colour that I'm going to use. This is Honey Lust. I'm not sure what this is because um, it, I can't actually get the uh, eyeshadows out so I can't tell you. Um, but it is iridescent so just pop some product on there. And we're going to be starting at the edge of the eye and working through to the middle. And just pop that product on right there in that corner area, okay? In the contour line. So the trick is not to have it going past the pupil of the eye and this can be quite rough at the moment, just get that product on there. Next I want to be getting a point brush and what I want to do is I want to get that same colour but I want to put it on right on that line and make it more intense. Okay, and if you feel that it's not intense enough, then get a little, a teeny bit of the dark colour and also see how it's just a little bit of a line, but then we're going to blend that line out so that it's not one big black line. Okay, so you can see how that's creating a nice contour. Now, what we need to do is get our original brush with our... Jane Iredale nude on it. Just make sure that that edge right there is blended. Okay, just sweep it through a little bit. So it's just this piece here that you're trying to blend, not any of this work that you've done there. And just make sure that's nice and blended and get make sure it's going upwards. Now I'm going to use a MAC Blondies Gold. This is a loose powder, Blondies Gold. And I like to use really nice um, big flat brushes for these types of products. See how it's all loose? You've got to be really careful with them. And they last forever. They really do. So I press the product on. See how it just sits on there. But I'm still going to give it a tap. Because it's a loose powder you don't want it falling all over your garments or all over your face. And I'm going to press the product into this area. Now we've already got our Jane Idol nude on there but because these are evening shows I just need a little bit more glitz and a little bit more bling. Okay? So just press it all over the eyelid. Make sure you put the lid back on because you do not want to be spilling um, those products. They get everywhere. So next I'm going to be taking my trusty Jane Iredell basic brown uh, eyeliner. Uh, ba basic black, sorry. And from the corner of the eye up to the middle of the pupil, I'm just going to do a quite thick line. 
and you could do little dots instead of just one big line and then I'm going to do a really thin line just up to the end of the eyelashes okay next you get your point brush use a bit of the ebony black and blend that outside line make sure that it's nice and soft we don't want any hard lines okay now this is your sort of typical uh, Marilyn Monroe party look um, yeah it's, it, it, it's typically Mar Marilyn Monroe now I'm going to use a um, fascinating by Mac fascinating but hard to focus on that there there fascinating and it's white I've sharpened it and I'm going to go into the water line waterline okay and this will give the illusion of having quite big doughy eyes rather than having the black all the time so if you've got smaller eyes then you might want to try getting a white or an iridescent uh, eyeliner that can help open up your eyes quite a bit now my next piece that I want to do I'm getting a flat brush and this is for eyeliner see how thin and flat that is I used to use quite a long thin pointy eyeliner but um, I felt I didn't have any control over it so this product here is um, Lancome and it is an ink art liner and it's 01 so these are beautiful so they're a little bit unusual to put on just pop the product on like that but then I like to just get the excess off the sides as well and I'm going to show you how to do an, a liquid liner on the top okay so starting at the corner moving your way in in small dots and then I'm going to this area here make sure that you get right in the interior of that eye and little dots all the way across this can be a really hard um, area of makeup for the majority of you to do so you could start with a pencil a really nice sharp pointed pencil and just hold it and do little dots okay um, and as you get more confident let's just make the liner go up a teeny little bit and as you get more confident then you can go into the liquid and yeah you'll be fine you'll get there eventually it does take practice so now our next step is a little bit of mascara I still have um so we're using a Opulash Optimum Black I use all and that's a MAC product I use all sorts of um, mascaras I don't have a favorite and I just like to pull it out so no going like that with the air just get the excess off okay looking in the mirror and from the roots to the end if it gets too gluggy get an old mascara wand and just take the excess off now as we know I've got a few eyelash extensions in and they're getting to the end of their days so I can afford to be a little bit naughty and just pop some mascara on the ends of them okay now the next thing I want to do I want to do my lip line so red it's really high maintenance so you've got to be careful with it I've got a uh, brick a Mac brick there we go Mac brick and it's a red and I want to start at the interior and do little dots all the way along and from the outside in then I'm going to stretch my lips and put the product on and that just helps to get in between all the little lines
Now, red is extremely high maintenance. So you've got to be careful with it. Don't take it too far outside of your lip line because it will start bleeding. And the same with the lipstick. Use your, um, your lip liner as a bit of a guard to keep that lipstick from bleeding. This is a Lancome lipstick and um, it is a 132. And that's a little pretty little Lancome flower. And it's just a red product. Now, just going to stretch it out. pop it on but then I'm also going to use my lip liner to make sure that it's nice and smooth and that it's got in between all the lines. Notice how I did the interior and I didn't really try to muck around with the outside line. You start doing that with red lipstick and you're going to end up with it all over the place unfortunately. Now I am grabbing my contour brush bit of a blusher brush and a Thin Lizzy 6-in-1 and I'm using this just as a contour. So we do the Cabbage Patch Doll which is a face where I look like a Cabbage Patch Doll and pop it on from the beginning of the pupil upwards just along that cheek area. I'm not going into the apple of the cheek. Okay so it just gives me a little bit of contour line. Now what I'm going to do because how often do you see red blushes out there? Not very often. So I'm just going to get a little bit of the lipstick and I'm going to pop it in the apple area of the cheek in a really small area, the most concentrated part of it because I don't want red all over my face. I want it just in this little apple belt. I'm going to take it up. And what I want to do, so that was the finger that I used, I'm going to use a clean finger just to blend that outside edge. There we go. Then we can get our little detail powder brush and I've got my Jane Ardell Latte and just contour around that line there just to make sure that everything is nice and blended. All right, and I've left my hair nice and natural and curly because I have a lot of um, shoulders happening in this outfit. I just thought that it would be more appropriate to have big hair today. As the week goes along, I wanna change my look all the time like a bit of a chameleon. So, um, I hope that I get some really good uh, pictures for you guys and you can join me at www.mediamakeup1.com. I'll see you on the catwalk.